this opening face-off. The Jets start with possession as we are now underway. And he takes the pass. Shuts him down. Bolton has spent so much time doing tracking exercises, and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from, and he makes the save. And the puck's knocked loose. Thought we were going to get a whistle, but the puck clears out. Winnipeg's got it against the boards. And now it's grabbed by Pion. I'm going to guess that he's going to look to drive the net and shoot the puck, given that he's one goal away from his next milestone. We're still in the early stages of this period. Still scoreless in this one. Winnipeg's gonna start with the puck inside the offensive zone. Pad save and the goalie made it look easy. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Nice job tying up his opponent. And that's blocked. Down the right side and into the zone. Feeds it on over to Iofalo. Moves the puck. The Jets played along the boards. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. Quick feed to Golomowski. Forces the turnover in the defensive zone. Gun reach for the stick to knock the puck away. Across to Golodowski. Blocked in front. Gets the puck over to Silverberg. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Off the inside of the post and we play on. A huge opportunity there, James, to get the goal ahead goal in this game. You know what that does? It creates a ton of momentum, but the right stops it. Takes a shot, and that goes off a body. Ayafalo's been a workhorse tonight, James, and there's just another example of it, and the entire bench knows that they're invigorated by it. I mean, he's on his way down, he's stumbling, and he manages to find the puck to get a shot on net. That's tenacity at its best. Still lots of time left in the period. We're still scoreless. Anaheim's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Denied that one. Lowry's lugging the puck. And now he passes up to Anderson Dolan. Winnipeg's got the puck against the wall. And some good footwork to kick it away. And that's picked off in the defensive end. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Big time stop. Pelvac's able to get to position and then beat that dangerous slot shot. Redirected off one of his own linemates there. And that's broken up. The Jets move to the offensive zone. And he dodges the poke check there. There's the whistle. We got an offside. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. The Jets win the faceoff at center. Look at this down the right wing. They're on the attack. Hammers him in the open ice. And here comes the physical response. Well, and this is in response of a dangerous hit. And now one of your players is injured, James. It's really important that you stand up, you stick up, and you defend in this situation. Here we go. connect on that one, James. And now look at him on the ice. He's laboring to get up. Tough to watch fighting, but sometimes when it's a tilt on the road and you're a winner, it creates a ton of momentum.
And after that tilt, looks like cooler heads have finally prevailed, and we're ready to drop the puck once again. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And they'll dump it in. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. Keegan all of that one. Winnipeg's going on the attack as they gain the zone. Shot! Absolutely no fear to get in front of the slap shot. Picked up along the wall by Nash. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. Another stick infraction, and you know that coaches don't like this one. A product of not being in good position, reaching, and then taking the trick because you weren't moving your feet. James, but an opportunity on the power play. You have to find a way to convert. Move that puck quickly and open up lanes. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. Scrum along the boards. Angles it over to Tippett. And that's stolen by Anderson Dolan. Looks to pass it to Silverberg. And that's off a stick. Shot! Only just got enough of that to keep it out. Shifley's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Anaheim's won the draw. And they'll go to work. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop oh. by Hillebuck. Delayed penalty coming up here. There's the whistle, and here's the call. The Ducks are getting called for boarding on the play. The Jets fail to capitalize on the power play. Winnipeg's got the puck against the boards. And somehow he hangs on. Oh, a clutch save! Pass back to the point. Here's a chance, sends it in front. And a new pass. Scores! What a finish on the play! Well, I'm surprised the goaltender didn't flinch on this one. I know that if I was getting out on the coverage, I'd be flamingoing all night long, James, because he absolutely tagged this one. He had time, he had space, and he got all of it. The Jets have finally delivered the game's first goal past the midway mark of period number one. It was a long time coming here, James, as both teams exchange chances, and they're the first one to capitalize. Velarde's won the draw at center. Poked away at center ice. The Ducks play it along the wing. Dishes it off. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. More than half the period has expired. Winnipeg's up one set.
And they take possession here in the offensive zone. And time to go on the attack. Takes the feed. With the blast. Turns him away. Moves it on over to Velarde. Big hit, and that frees up possession. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Knowing how to protect the lead is critical, James, and you want to understand that you can create, you can still press offense, but you can't get cute with the puck. You still have to distribute it and find the right openings. Quick feed to Iofalo. Appleton's got it against the boards. Through the offensive zone and behind the net now. Brink's got it in the defensive end. Here's a chance! Beautiful close stop on that one. Fortunate storyline here throughout the game, and now we know for sure he won't be back. Tries to feed it over to Morrissey. Hunts the board through the neutral zone. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. And the Cubs kick free. Back to the blue line. That's blocked. Winnipeg's got the puck along the wall. Here they come. Center ice now. He grabs the puck. Quick pass to Lowry. And it's a quick pass to Ehlers. Textbook poke check by Power. Here's a short pass to Enroth. Tippett's got it in the defensive end. Loses his balance on the play. Big save right at the end. had the shot advantage here in this first period, but they still find themselves down. All right, time to get a clean sheet of ice here as period number one comes to an end. As you heard the horn sound, we'll be back with much, much more as this is going to be a fun one. Chasing the game, they've had zero possession time. They've got to find a way to carry the puck and get some opportunities. Stars, they came, they saw, they took advantage of the rebound and score. This is actually a tougher play than it looks, James. You have to have timing and an awareness to be able to get your stick on that rebound and then bury it. Not a lot of time and space available, but he executes. The Ducks have made this a whole new game in period number two. The difference in a close game is often the details, James, and this is a group that have worked hard. They've had good habits, and they find themselves tied. Michaels won the draw here in the neutral zone. Anaheim's got it behind the net. Slides the puck over. Shoots it. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Hellebuck's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Johns is all around the puck, or the puck is all around him. Look at it whichever way you want, but when you have a point streak going, it tends to follow you around. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And he had the answer on that play. Feeds the puck to Ayafalo. Quick shot! Still plenty of time left in this frame. You can 
feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. And they take possession after the defensive zone faceoff. Over the line they come. Moves it to the middle. Oh, and they can't connect on the pass because it was broken up in front. Centers glide into the dots. We're ready to get things back going again. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers strummed up. And he gets in front of that. Gives him a tap with the stick, and the referees don't like it. Here comes the official's call. The mellow stick work will land in two minutes for slashing. served on the ice. Shifley's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. The Jets win it in the defensive zone. Takes the saucer pass. Good solid check and he loses control of it. Sends one across. And that's a smart heads up play by Miller. Brink's got the puck in his own zone. Tries to feed it across. And now he moves it quickly to champion. Nice play, shorthanded as they get control of the puck. Let's move to the middle. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Appleton's ready for the try as they continue to be shorthanded here. Draw inside the offensive zone. And that caroms off one of his teammates in front. Brink's got the puck. Here's a shot. Sacrifices the body to block that in front. And they manage to clear it. The Ducks have it now. Moves it quickly over to Michael. The Jets have possession shorthanded. Winnipeg's got a hold of the puck now. Anaheim's looking to break out of their own end. The turnover! Here they come! Rocks him! He's got a step and a breakaway! Oh, denies him on the play! Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Fires it on that! Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps it at bay. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. It's all tied up. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Champions got it along the wing. Moose and Niskanen. And he takes the feed. Easy save by Hellebuck. Winnipeg's got possession of the puck. Along the half wall with the puck. Intercepted at center by Scantella. Sends the pass over. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Quick feed to Scandella. And he takes the feed. Moves it to the middle. Shot. Great hits up play with the stick by Faber. And he slides it quickly to Ehlers. Stug, go ahead, goal. Puts them in front. Well, now they're in front, James, so they'll have some energy. You know that their first few strides will be more urgent, but they'll have to be accountable on the other side of the puck as well. 
Well, he certainly looks frustrated after letting that goal in. James, it's almost like a fielder in baseball. If you touch it, you should be able to stop it. And he gets a big chunk of that one. Unfortunately, it goes in the netting. Winnipeg's gone up by one here in the second period. Well, it's been a lot of hard work and heavy lifting to get to this point. Just to get that one goal lead, James. Not only do they want to hold on to it, they want to extend it now. Quick pass to Nash. And he totally whiffs on that one. The Jets have it now. Here's a short pass to Edrock. Hellebuck's been so consistent throughout tonight's game. And I mean, he's made timely saves as well. A lot of shots that he's faced and the save percentage is an indicator of it. Makes the save on the slapper. The Jets gain possession. Quick pass over to Silverberg. Takes the pass. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Moves it quickly over to Silverberg. Puck scooped up by Power. Winnipeg's got control of it now from their own end. Down the left wing, they gain the zone. Oh, big time hit on the play. Well, and it's another hit. I mean, how many times is that now, James? He's going to continue to be a target if his head is down. Anaheim's got the puck. Right up the gut into the offensive end. And that's poked away by Tippett. Receives the pass to his teammate. Sends the pass down low. Anaheim's got the puck along the boards. Winnipeg's got possession here in the offensive zone. Crisps opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Well, normally, I get here pretty early to get to the game, and I, I'll tell you what, I had a hard time finding parking because everybody was coming early for T-shirt night. Huge success here by the hockey club this evening. And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. Moves it to Malarna. They score! And that's back-to-back -back goals! Well, nothing like switching momentum and putting your opponent on their heels than getting two in a row. That's what you call having a knack for the net, James. When you get in tight and you're sniffing around, you better get that puck off quickly because you know there's defenders all in around you that are going to come and close. The Jets make their way back to center now, boasting a two-goal lead here in the second. Uh, and you can certainly see that they're playing more relaxed, much easier when you got a two-goal lead here, James. But I've liked everything about their game tonight. They've been creative, they've played free, but they've also been defensively responsible. Anaheim's got it in their own zone. Can't keep a hold of it. From the point, they take control of it. Anaheim's got the puck inside the defensive zone. And it's kicked away. The Ducks gain control of the puck against the wall. Fires it into the offensive zone. Quick feed to Pionk. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Darlene's taking it from his own end. Slides the puck across. And they cough it up at center. Scrum along the boards, they battle for the puck. And he takes the dish. And that's knocked away by Darlene. The Ducks are in transition. Puts it on net. Comes up with the glove save. Cheryl, the name of the game is winning, but you got to think ownership's loving these pack houses night after night after night. Show me the money, James. The concessions are lined up, and you can certainly see the colors of the team being worn by all of these people in the seats. you got to believe this franchise is pretty happy. Here's a chance! And that shot gets caught in traffic. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Pionk. When you trail in a game, sometimes you try and do too much. You're overly aggressive, and you try and do a high-risk, high-reward play, and that's exactly what happens here. Unfortunately, it goes the other way. All sorts of pressure here in the offensive end. They are really applying the squeeze. Goaltender covers up and will get a face-off. Face off coming up here, and Cheryl, let's see if they can keep that momentum going. No question about it, James. We know where the momentum lies right now after some sustained pressure, heavy pressure, heavy forecheck, lots of shots going to the net. The goaltender is fatigued. You want to make sure that you can continue to apply that pressure and see if you can sweep them by. Hooked away that center by Yeskinen. There's a shot. Comes up with a stop. Quick pass to Johns. 
Anaheim's got the puck against the half wall. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Big time stop there. Takes a shot. And another save. And that puck came hard and it came fast and it came multiple times, but he was right on it, showing his athleticism to make those saves. Let go into this period. Winnipeg's got a 3 1 lead as they have dominated for the most part this The Ducks take possession here inside the offensive zone. The Jets play it along the boards. Takes it into the slot. Can't get it to go. Grabbed along the board by Ehlers. Snaps it on that. Denies him. And there's the horn bringing an end to period number two. Still 20 minutes more of action in the third. Stick around. here on period number three. All right, the puck is dropped on the third and final frame. Fires it! The Jets take possession in the defensive end. Now a quick pass to Connor. Good defensive stop with the poke check. With possession along the wall. Keeps it over! And that caroms off a body in traffic. And he slides it quickly to Morrissey. Winnipeg ready to go on the attack. Puck dumped in. Anaheim's got the puck. Slides it over with pace to Johns. Lead pass ahead. Turned aside with the glove by Hellebuck. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Lots of time left in this period. Winnipeg's got a 3-1 lead. They win the faceoff here in their own end and take possession. And it's a quick pass to Appleton. Dustrous textbook positioning to break up the play. The Jets get a hold of the puck in their own end. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Winnipeg's got a hold of the puck. And that's poked away. Passes over to Enroth. Here's a short pass to Silverberg. Teams control the puck after taking a little knock. Through center along the wing. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Tippett's gaining momentum. Knocked away. Pass across to DeMello. Jostled off the puck. Winnipeg's got a second unit that's been explosive tonight and the reason why they're on top in this game. And listen, it's a luxury when your coach can look down the bench and look at the second line and see that kind of depth. The Ducks continue to trail here in the third period despite being the busier team offensively tonight. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. Here's the shot! And that's off target as it hits a body. The Jets cross the line and gain the zone. Look at this from an awkward spot. Goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. The Jets have been getting solid offensive contributions, leading 3-1. Anaheim's going to start with the puck in their own end. Favors moving the puck through his own zone. And now he moves it quickly to Brink. Picked off by Nemestikov. Winnipeg's got the puck along the wall. Tries to get it over to Miller. Great use of the stick at center by Fever. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Oh, and he gets a piece of that one to keep it out. Hell of 
Brock's a workhorse, and you know that he is a fierce competitor that gets better with every save that he makes. And as this game goes on, he has to make more saves. He's incredible. The setters will glide into the dot. Shifley's won it off the faceoff. Anaheim's got a hold of the puck now. Moves it around along the half wall. Great reach with the puck shot by Connor. Ehlers picking up steam. Takes the shot. Too much traffic in the lane. And just like that, from out of nowhere, comes up with the puck. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. The Ducks' enemy is starting to become the clock as they still trail here in the third, despite several scoring chances. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. And he slides it quickly to power. And he passes it up ahead to Johns. Now a quick pass to Champion. And that goes off a player. Pushes it across to Connor. Feeds it down low. Gives him a jolt with that hit. Oh, what a stop on the play. Gets all of it with the paddle. Anaheim's in on the offensive attack now. Breaks up the pass in the defensive zone. And a good use of the body to knock the puck loose. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. Handles the puck. Moves it quickly over to Malardi. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Sends it quickly to power. Anaheim's got it in their own zone. Shot! That goes off a twig. Winnipeg's got the puck in their own. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Works it across to Rossi. Great reach with the poke check. And a good solid hit on that play. Puts it in deep. Sends a pass over. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Here's a shot. Too much congestion in front. Drills him. Moves it to Silverberg. Takes a knock, but he's still got the puck. The center team. And that's deflected off someone in front. Moves the puck over to Jamello. Quick feed to Lowry. After that huge hit, he is just struggling to get off of the ice, James, and the body language says it all as he's all hunched over. You know that the medical staff, well, they'll meet him on the bench. Pushes it across to Perfetti. Anaheim's ready to go on the attack. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Great, so difficult to stop in tight, and he's got magic hands, but unfortunately this time it doesn't go his way as he tries to get a little nifty. Sometimes simple is the best way to go. Winnipeg's looking to break out, and he slides it quickly to Perfetti. The Jets looking against the half wall. Anaheim's gained possession along the boards. Passes up ahead from the left wing. Puck dumped in, they'll complete a line change. Slides the pass over to Connor. Ehlers takes the puck. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Takes a shot. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. Takes it and looks ahead. Punks it away in his own end. Intercepted by Miller. Goaltender has made his way to the bench. The extra attackers out. They need a goal here big time. Quick pass to Shifley. The Jets take it along the wall. Anaheim's got possession of the puck. Denied by Hillebuck. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Towards the gaping net. Misses. The Ducks gain control of the puck. And they turn it over in the neutral zone. 
And that's broken up by Silverberg. Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. Shot denied by Hellebuck. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. A reason why he can get square to it and make the save. And he hangs on just as time runs out. And that brings an end to this one here this evening. Well, I'll tell you what. The winning streak comes to an end, but hats off at the other end of the ice because they had to earn that one tonight. Well, James, it wasn't like they were running on empty, right? They had a lot of fuel in the tank. They were pressing, looking to continue that streak. You gotta love the fight and the resilience in them. It's the reason why they carried it in the first place. Thanks so much for joining us. We had a great time. Hope you did too. For all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Cebalski. Good night.